Welcome, welcome, new repeat users. Sholy here, and I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to add your game ID, how to enter a tournament, and how these tournaments work, and answer any questions you may have as a new user. If you're on the website and haven't added your game ID yet, it's really easy to do so, and there are a few places you can do it. The quickest is to come up here to your profile page, and you'll see a section called Game IDs, and that's where you'll be able to just easily add your account, and you'll see any of our games here. You just click whatever game you want to add and follow the steps and you should be good to go. Another place to add your game ID is you can do so from any tournament page. If you come to a tournament page and you haven't added your game ID, this join tournament button will actually be a add game ID button. And the same thing will pop up and you'll be able to add your game right from there. And now that we're here, let's just enter a tournament. So I've already added my game ID, so I can just click this button here and I'm automatically joined and you can see this refresh to a timer. And you'll see your name pop up at the top and your score and all the details. You have 10 minutes to change your mind. And if you click this button, you can exit the tournament. And if it's a coin entry or cash entry tournament, you'll get your money back. Now this tournament page will have everything you need to know and how to play the tournament and what game modes you need to play, what your prize pool could potentially be and all those things. You'll find the dates and times where the tournament runs. You'll find the prize pool here if there's an entry fee associated with it. You'll see our social links here. But the most important thing you're gonna to wanna to do first is go to this rules tab. Now here is where you will find the game modes you need to play and any rules that will be specific to this tournament. Right now, the only rule for this League of Legends tournament is that you need to play ranked. This rules overview could contain things like solos, duos, trios, and quads for games like Fortnite and Warzone or different types of ranks for Dota 2 and, Le and League of Legends. It could be region locked and you will find that information here where only certain regions are allowed and you'll even find a list of characters that could be banned from this tournament in games like League of Legends and Dota 2. Here you can see the leaderboard and what point totals everyone has. If you click this view details button, you can get a game by game breakdown. You can see however many games this person has played. You can also see another breakdown here. Here's some generic tournament details that will also give you some information on the tournament. And you can come to the prize pool. You'll be able to toggle between current and potential prize pool. Potential is the max amount you will get once the tournament is full. And current will be the amount for the amount of people that are in it at the time. Sometimes these numbers will be the same. Sometimes they'll be different. Depends on the tournament. The scoring tab will show you how your points are calculated in every game. These will not be the same across all of our games. They'll be tailored to that specific game. You'll also be able to find a video that explains each game's scoring system right on that page. Another cool thing on the tournament page is our Watch Live tab, where you will be able to see anyone who has entered this tournament that is also streaming on Twitch. Another cool thing about our tournaments is that we only count your top X amount of games. Now that will depend on the tournament. For this one, it's top 10 games. Sometimes it could be 3, 5, 20. Usually depends on the length of the tournament. So this means you can play as many games as you want and your score will only get better. It'll never decrease and your best scores will always float to the top. So this is great for being able to play unlimited amount of games in the tournament, but also you can join the tournament late and the people who join before you don't have an advantage. You could still climb to the top of the leaderboard with your 10 best games in this tournament, for example. One other quick thing I wanted to mention is that we have two types of prize pool tournaments. One will be coins, and repeat coins are cool because you can exchange them for items in our marketplace as long as you have enough coins in your account to redeem them. And we also have cash price pool tournaments, which cash goes right into your account and you can withdraw as long as you've hit the minimum withdrawal amount. We often have free tournaments running for cash or coin price pools across most of our games. And these are a great way to test our product and kind of see how it works and see how easy it is for you to win money or coins. And that's how easy it is to add your game ID and join tournaments. Now you may have questions of your own, so I encourage you to reach out to us at support at repeat.gg via email or join our Discord server. Good luck and have fun.